the Quaalude, the fucking MDMA, the fucking uh, Jerry's kid. What was it? What was the, what were you doing in college? The Special K. Special K. All that shit is just a. Uh, it's a different name for the Jerry's same. Kids. Yeah, <laughs> it's a different. It's a different name for the same similar product. Yeah, that they just mixed and added. You know, there was what a about time. ecstasy? Is that the ecstasy, same? Ecstasy. They added heroin to mm -hmm. it, and it gives you this weird thing, and people were dying, people sweating at that. Who the fuck knows? You know, it's all. It always started with the same thing. The quaalude was like a, a pharmaceutical. Thing. Yeah. <clears throat> but what happened was, this is interesting that you brought this up. Mm-hmm. What happened was, people started pirating them. You know, Lee's a genius. Lee went, they bought four, four two, two quaaludes, took them, got so fucking high, he goes, I want to know, I want in on this. He's a chemistry student. He goes, I'm wasting my time playing with fucking monkeys and fucking, <laughs> you know, playing with mice. What do I give a fuck if a mice gets cancer? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, what's I got delicious. to do with Uncle Joe? I'm doing this to make a living. You know what I'm saying? He takes that fuck, they would take those quaaludes, Break them down, however they do it chemically. I'm no fucking. I don't know nothing about this shit. And they would poke them. I mean, they were pirates. But what these motherfuckers didn't tell you was, these things were just a tad stronger than what you usually got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so here you are popping this pharmacy ones, and you're having a cocktail because they already told you. But when you got the fucking thing, they I look you in the eye and I go, Lily, where are you going tonight? Me and Paula. We're going to go to a bar. We're going to pop a quail. Listen, I'm going to tell you this one fucking time. I have one cocktail and a glass of water and call a fucking Uber. I'm not, please, do me the favor. <laughs> promise me I'm not going to fucking give you this, this loot. I but, promise, Joey. But these college kids said, fuck it. We can make the loot and make them for a dollar, sell them for two. They don't give a fuck. We make them for we make them for eighty cents and sell them for two. two? What are you nuts? You buy them for two, sell them for four. What? Hello, hello. You walk into a bar in those days and go, what do you, you got? You come up to a guy like me and go, Joey, tell me what you think. Pop it, and four minutes later, I got a cocktail. Because right away you drink. Nobody ever did a quail and drank water. water with yeah. Anybody who did a quail, even at four, had, really, had a cocktail. Even at four in the afternoon, <laughs> we'll go. Hold on one second. Let me get the strongest, whatever you got, the bucket, the garage, <laughs> terminal juice oil, whatever you got. They pop a quail, <laughs> and they get fucking lit. Like you just get lit, but you got soft, loose. Everything got really soft, and all of a sudden you you started going in and out. <laughs> like you'd be there and you'd be giggling and listening to the music but you'd be going in and out in and out in and out in and out until finally you just short circuit and then the next morning you just wake up thirsty a chick next to you <laughs> some guy naked in front of you like it was that oh. it wasn't like that for me yeah. like it happened a few times with those biscuits I I started eating my first why did I get my first quail of Because head? they stopped making them then, right? They, they just stopped, stopped making they like outlawed them. But now these genius kids like they Lee, already had the, the, the they blueprint. got the juice. <laughs> Fuck you bitches. They got the blueprint. <laughs> but here's the problem. Like I told on the Joe Rogan podcast, from time to time, when these guys before they became fucking pill manufacturers, they didn't get the right table. Or they didn't look at the flooring. Because now all the tables, because the f the flooring was off. The tables are like this. So let me tell you what happens when your table is crooked. That means when they place the pills on that are dry, right, or whatever the fuck they're making, the pills, the juice drips down to the bottom, right? The quaalude juice drips down to the bottom. So these pills are fucking... So loose pills are fucking Gorilla Biscuits to the max, and these other ones are kind of dud. They'll get like a like a 16-year-old yeah. high for an hour or two. And, oh, my God, I did this quaalude. Meanwhile, some guy like me is like, it didn't do nothing to me. Yeah. Right? So now, let me tell you what happens. You're they taking both, two of those ones down there. Hold on. They both go into the same Gorilla Mix, and you sell them in the street. So 50 a Gorilla Mix, and 50 are just, uh, uh, uh. Right? Okay. So me and you were like, what the How do you know which one's Gorilla Mix? You never know. <laughs> you don't know until you this know. This is the beauty of this. Me and you go out on a Friday night. We're like, listen, what are we doing today? We're going to Joe and Mary's. How much you got? I got 80. I got 75. What do you want to do? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ominous. What do you want to do with 155? And, and this guy's a nice guy. He would actually look me in the face 
and believe. You go, man, listen, I don't want to get too fucked up. Let's just do a half grab. I knew I had him. Yeah. I knew I had him <laughs> yeah, right there. Right away. Just get what, what, a shirt. How much, how much a half gram costs? 45. Just give me 20. Okay. I don't even pay for the first five because I got a fucking goldfish. Put your money away. <laughs> That's mine later. Don't worry about nothing. I hope you got a pencil and a paper for IOU money. All right. And we take like a fucking, we take like a $4 Quaalude, but it's a dud. Oh. It's one of the duds, right? So guys like you and me are professional. We're kind of high, but not really. Now we're kind of disappointed. You know what I'm saying? So we sit there, we drink a couple more fucking Lila, the bartender there, the one who had a wig and she had a dog that was like epileptic. We used to piss on him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up, right? She'd make you these vodka orange juices that were white. We were fucking 17. We were 17. These vodka orange juices just had a touch of orange juice on the top. The rest was just fucking vodka. Oh. And we'd be blasting those things, and that quaalude wouldn't hit us. It would hit us, but mildly. Mm -hmm. Now we get a look at them. We got to go into emergency. <laughs> we we got to pop the second one. Yeah. So we take that second one, which is the Gorilla Biscuit of Debt, and we pop that motherfucker. Oh. But that and one takes a little while to hit us. Yeah. And that time, Flacco shows up. What do you got? What are you holding? Give me another one. <laughs> Give me the money. Don't worry about nothing. I'll catch you Tuesday. <laughs> now we're in the bathroom in the middle of all this. Ba boom. Oh, we get hit with the quail of death. <laughs> now you're at the bar that vodka's burping in your fucking thing. <laughs> the room is just moving. Oh. If there's music, your ears are sensitive as shit, which is really <laughs> weird to describe. You can't cover them because everybody think you fucking you're fag. Like, <laughs> like when an ambulance goes by, it's those people that cover their ears shoot them. All those people are just weak fuck. You never cover your ears. You stand there like a soldier. Cover your ears like a fucking half a fruitcake. That's how I know what side of the fucking fence you're hanging on. You know what I'm saying? Covering your ears. <laughs> you don't know how many times. I, I remember my friend's uncle died or something. No. <laughs> Where I was living, his mom died, and he had his <laughs> the black suit that he was going to wear to the wake the next day. I had moved in with the runnies mm -hmm. in uh, maybe uh, April of 81. This is June of 82, <laughs> July of 82, maybe something like that, May of 82. <laughs> I'm at Joe and Mary's throwing down those fucking white vodka orange juices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing bumps and a little spoon with a little bottle and shit. I had the whole kit. And I'm eating those Gorilla Biscuits. I go home, I eat a piece of chicken to stop the spins. And I sit in his favorite chair. His suit's right here. And as I'm sleeping, all of a sudden I wake up in the middle of the night and I start puking on his suit. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got thrown out for that one. But that was... <laughs> Gorilla Biscuits. God. But then I learned you, the secret to Gorilla Biscuits was like any other pill. You can't drink with it. Yeah. Enjoy the pill. That's where it gets bad. Yeah, when you start to mix. That's well, but you were already bad. drunk, though. Was that bad then? That's horrible. Horrible. What it would do, I would see fucking four of you right now. Like, yeah. I swear to God, I would get to. My friend's mother was dying. Listen, again, he wasn't my friend. He was an associate. His mother was dying of cancer. In ninth, his mother was dying of cancer since like 78. Jeez, let him be your friend. In those days, they used to send her these things called Tuminoles, F-66s. This is all is that, you Was made. that the number that was on the side of them? On the side F -66. of them, F-66. <laughs> like you know the planes. What? It was the devil, but not really. You know what I'm saying? It was missing a six. <laughs> she would fucking take those pills and sell them for 20 a piece. Oh, my God. And I remember splitting one one night. Oh, my God. That's what the what you the know, government kept for the for the real sick people. But in those days, yeah. But in those days, man, my mom had just died. That's the only thing that would kill the pain. Me going out and, and experimenting with those fucking uh, yeah zombo pills and shit. Oh, 